Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? Hard drive here. I gotta get a picture of that. Fine tune CB. You gotta love your kids. You know what? You just got to. I walk into the house to go get me a cup of tea for this video. And I'm, I'm not real tall, and I got steps to go in when I open up my door. <clears throat> and this is what's looking at me. He sets it there so I can see it, I guess, or squeak it so maybe he knows I'm coming home. Anyways, big old bull hauler. We still got it. He's still in good shape, too. See? He's still in good shape. Another picture. Anyways, guys and girls, these radios have been stacking up in here like firewood in the middle of December. So what I want to do, this is going to be a two-part video. I'm not sure when I'm going to do the completion of this video. Videos take a long time. But I'll do this one or another one or something. I want to take this one out of the box, hook it up, and show you what we get to deal with sometimes. And these are probably are going to technologically challenge most people, even with a bench. If you've done two, three, four hundred of them, then uh, it's not so bad, but. Some people call them black boxes, and I'll bet that they'd rather put a bullet hole through it than deal with it, because not every single one's the same in the book or the service manual. It kind of gets you a roundabout way into the ballpark, but guaranteed no home runs. Let's get this thing open and see how it looks on the bench. So you know who this is. And there's a couple more N4s. A bunch of radios this time. I'm behind. I'm moving as fast as I can. Sleeping when I can. Today was a trip at the post office. Anyways. This side here. do is tape it up. It's kind of hard to move everything. Just give me a second here. A little mess of tape. These are actually a lot of work. Just do it tonight and get it finished. All right. Get this in the same place. All right, there we go. straight up. Alright, 20. Alright, let's plug her in. Yeah, it's making noise. We do have a 500 watt plug in there. Listen, we need 
I kind of need the light myself, this light. Yeah, it makes it a little bit blurry for you. Thought that one was a 50. Change that one real quick. <clears throat> okay, AM, echo off, noise blanker on. Customer, I guess I'll call you to find out if you want the amp switch, and most people do. It's turning on the noise blanker, which is a good thing, and leave it on permanently. And we'll do the all the updates and IF stages and the audio stages on these, which will drastically help the receive, basically by taking out a lot of noise. That's how that really works. Okay, so uh, it's AM. So we gotta go 28. There's the carrier, low power, and uh, not so bad. Not so bad. That's a 28 megahertz. And now we gotta find the power. Wide open power, all the way down. Hardly any modulation at all. Let's go to one kilohertz. Slightly off. That's because I didn't type in my frequency. It's got a fairly stable carrier, but as we take a look at 30 megahertz, we see some more issues. Modulated slightly. Let's go to 300. And we see a lot of different issues. Maybe we'll slightly do a conversion on it too. Now we'll go to sideband. Between the two it is balanced. I don't see much of a carrier. Audio once is very, 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 very dirty. And this is factory tuned at the frequencies that it's actually designed to operate at. Let me get you in a little bit closer. Uh, you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about or not. This is through multiple stages and the entire RF chain along with the amplifier. Let me turn this down a little bit. Let's see if you can see that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Audio, one, two, three, four, five. See how fuzzy everything is? Fuzzy wuzzy, right? Now let's take a look. 30 megahertz span. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll go to 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll go back to 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a splatter box. Most of the power <clears throat> really isn't at the fundamental frequency. It makes the meter move though pretty good though, as you can see. That's a 500 audio. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. These usually do around 200 and 200. Pushing it more than that's like absolutely nuts. Okay, nuts. Let's see if it has any ears. Let's see. 
this in. Ninety four. That's like kind of typical. Kind of sucks. But it's working. Alright. Hold on a second. By the way, you notice I never stopped the camera. I used to, that's because my phone would do it. But in a way, it's quite unique that the camera can't be stopped. I can and I can use a program to uh, splice them all together. But I think that this is a little bit more accurate this way. Yeah, it might waste a second or two, but you do see everything that's going on. There's no hocus pocus, in other words. I, I see hocus pocus <laughs> in so many videos. But it's mind blowing. Well, I won't say mind blowing. It's depressing. Literally. Flipping depressing. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm not even going to do that. Let's just take a look inside. Not even for experimental purposes. And this is out here pretty tight. But when you get them, if you see any kind of dents or whatever sometimes, and scratches like that, there's some in the front. I'm not doing it. Just that's how they 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 pack them. All right. You see it come out of the box. All right. There are the traps or the coils. We'll have to go through those because once the radio is converted and tuned to 27, these the, the the tuning of the coils changes drastically. I don't see anything wrong with it at all anywhere. It looks just like a brand new radio out of the box. Let's take a closer look around. I don't see any burrs. No nothing broken that's actual visible. already loose or never really tightened up much factory joints all look decent for what they are I don't see any real issues going on here so now you know what they look like coming straight out of the box the power that they do how dirty how clean, etc. It's not my favorite radio. And you see, by the time you get sideband balanced, biased, and tuned, it's a whole different picture for AM. And the way the radio is designed, temperature is extremely critical. Is this thing recording? I think it is, yeah for sideband stability. Uh, only with a five digit counter, it's kind of hard to tell. But when I do tune them, they're straight up and down warm. All right, let me get to work on this thing. I'm not gonna be doing too many videos for the next week or so. I really have a lot to get done. A lot, 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 lot. So 
If I'm not doing too many videos, I'm not leaving you alone, just trying to get caught up. It's uh, Saturday morning at 526. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Be safe at it, and we'll catch you all later. 163, down by the Rio Grande, and I'm out of here. Click, click.